Um, a bunch of us were just really concerned with the turnout for voting this, this for these midterms, um, especially for younger kids, 18 to 25. Um, and most of the folks that I'm working with have kids that fall within that age range. Um, and they were concerned as well, the kids. So we wanted to do something that was uh, powerful. So it kind of starts at like a, at a march um, and then ends up at the polls. So that narrative was important of like, you can't just be out there, you know, marching or, or complaining or hashtagging stuff. You have to actually show up and turn out to vote or it doesn't, all that doesn't matter. Most of my work was known for being very graphic in style. Um, and when I worked with Refinery29, that's a perfect example of how my illustration work looks. Um, it's pretty political for the most part. This is a really close race, so it matters that everyone turns out to vote. And I feel like, um, you know, a lot of the younger kids talk about voting and then they just don't end up turning up. Um, so I feel like this effort's been like about follow through and really showing up at the polls and not just saying that you're going to. We are going to continue um, just to carry on the torch of like activism and whatever issues do come up, whatever the outcome of the midterms are, um, continue to create dialogue that's meaningful um, about what's happening and to just stay informed. Um, I, I think that's pretty much the goal of the group. Keep being creative and doing things that make them happy. Um, I think art is really important. It's a really important tool for, for everyone. Um, and that's why I love murals, because I think public art is really, um, it, it kind of, it's why I'm also interested in politics. It shares a common denominator of like access and, um, you know, and power in a way. Uh, and I think public art sort of breaks down some of those barriers between um, you know, the haves and the have-nots and, and everyone can, it's something that everyone can enjoy and, and participate in.